And in Toronto, police have arrested a 23-year-old man tonight charged in a series of sickening crimes. In the last four days, at least five people have been assaulted on university campuses where a man with a bucket drenched them with a foul substance that, well, let's just say, belongs in a toilet. CTV's John Vanavelli Rao has the disturbing details. On university campuses across Toronto, the latest attack has had students on high alert. I actually think it's just super dis disgusting and really demeaning yeah. for someone to do that because they'd have to plan something like that. Overnight, emergency crews rushed in to hose down a sidewalk by the University of Toronto, washing away what's believed to be human waste. Dumped from a bucket onto a young woman who was walking by, seen here wrapped in a yellow blanket. I actually saw the girl that got dumped on and it was, uh, yeah, it was disgusting. Police released security footage of a suspect wearing a construction hat and carrying a bucket after three bizarre incidents. It all involves suspected fecal matter being dumped on people and the attacker then running away. At this time, we don't know the motive uh, behind what's, you know, why this is being done. Um, we're hoping to get to the bottom of that. The first incident happened Friday at a library at the University of Toronto. The second on Sunday afternoon at a library at York University. And the third took place back near the University of Toronto. I find this kind of behavior inexplicable. You just can't understand why anybody would go around and do this kind of thing. The victims have all been Asian. The police note some were of Indian descent, while others had a Chinese or Korean background. And in a city that's composed of more than 50 percent visible minorities, police don't believe the attacks were racially motivated. Asia, that's like half the population, yeah. so you know, we can't really say that, yeah, they're targeting. Still, some students of Asian descent express concern, with at least one bringing an umbrella as protection. If you were to toss a bucket of feces, I would just open this and hopefully not get hit. And with word late tonight that the suspect is in custody, students are no doubt relieved, no longer having to watch their backs on campus. Sandy. John, thank you.